Welcome. So the question that I'm asking here is, what is a linear equation? And first of all, let's just kind of look at what a linear equation is going to produce before we start getting into actually the linear equation. So linear equations, we call them linear equations because what they're going to do is they're going to produce lines. Now these lines can all have all certain parts of slope. They can be vertical, they can be horizontal, they can have negative slope. And you know they could have a positive slope. So these little lines with the arrows, um, those are going to be our lines. And a linear equation is going to produce a line where the correlation of our x and, x and y coordinates are going to create a linear graph. All right. So notice that the rate of change is always going to be a constant. As I'm continuing up, I'm constantly going in the same direction. It's not going to take any short of um, any curve, or there's not going to be any breaks in a linear graph. So. What do linear equations look like? Well, there's a couple different forms that we're going to talk about for linear equations. And I'm just going to give you kind of three processes, or three different equations that we are going to typically work with. And then I'm going to uh, kind of tell you what is not a linear equation, what are the kind of the attributes of a linear equation. So the most famous one that we like to use is slope-intercept form. All right, That is going to produce a linear graph. Um, also, we use the standard form. OK. Um, and then lastly, we also have uh, a slope-intercept form. All right. Or point-slope form, I'm actually sorry. So these are all three different ways that we can write our linear equations. All right. Now, what exactly is a linear equation? Well, a linear equation has some special attributes that we need to really make sure. And, and a lot of these are, it's gonna, might be a little confusing, so I'll try to make sure I remember this. Remember, m in this case represents our slope, and b represents our y-intercept. In this equation, our a, b, and our c all represent real numbers. So they're not going to be our variable. They're going to represent real numbers of the equation. And then y2, y1, x2, x1, those also represent real numbers, and where m represents our slope. So when we're dealing with the linear equation, the main important thing is our m, our slope, has to be our constant. Now, when we're looking at uh, a linear equation, there's one thing that we have to make sure that we um, are available with. First of all, each one of variables cannot be raised to a power greater than 1. All right? So for the famous equation, you know, y equals x squared plus 1, that is not a linear equation. Okay? Because the variable, my x, is being raised to a higher power. And it doesn't matter even if I did something like, uh, uh, it doesn't matter if it's smaller than 1. It has, if it's not 1, it's not a linear equation. Uh, the next thing we have is we cannot have a variable in the denominator. So if I have y equals uh, 1 over x plus 5, that is not going to produce a linear equation. All right, so we cannot have a variable in the denominator. And lastly, we also cannot have variables that are being multiplied by each other. Okay, so that's not a linear equation. Nor can you have it when you have like x times y equals 5. Um, because therefore, solving for one of those variables, you're going to have to divide. So you can't have variables multiplied by each other. And you might say, well, here I have a variable a and x multiplied by each other. But remember, your a represents a real number. All right? In the same case with here, that x and your, your x1 and your x2, those also represent real numbers. As well as here, my m represents the real number slope. So the main important thing, again, for going back for linear equations, is you can't have one powers that are other than one for your variables. You cannot have a variable in the denominator, or can you have two variables, x and y, being multiplied by each other. Um, besides that, when looking at a linear equation, it has to make sure that you produce um, a line, and then also that you're going to have a constant rate of change. Um, and that will even still work. So your slope is going to have to be a value. However, you could also um, be dealing with zero slope or undefined slope, but it will still produce a linear equation, which will produce a line as its graph. Hope that helped. Thanks.